it is extremely important that higher education foster innovation because where else will we get the base of people who are going to create new things and so it's important to give students permission to start ventures to think of new ideas and not simply to follow the rules I think that will help ensure that in the future we will continue to have a generation of innovators and entrepreneurs. One of the greatest things we can do to make an organization more innovative is simply seek out the ideas, ask for them, provide time and space for people to be generating project ideas, to challenge existing wisdom, and asking makes a big difference. Innovation is all about playing with ideas. Innovation is challenging conventional wisdom. I talk about it as though we were looking through a kaleidoscope and shaking it up to find an entirely new pattern. You have to loosen your mind in order to accept new possibilities and play or playfulness, I think humor, art, all help loosen us up to see new possibilities. I think innovation is actually from the bottom and middle up. If we're still talking hierarchical language, it's often from unexpected sources. It's from people on the periphery. It's from people who don't have so much stake in the status quo that they block out the idea of change. What top leaders do is they create an environment where that's possible. Sometimes top leaders themselves have great ideas, but in fact, what we want is for ideas to flow from all kinds of places and get a hearing, not be stifled before they could be developed. I think that some American cities are wonderful places for a culture of innovation in part because they have a lot of institutions of higher education, they have a lot of young people, they are open to learning and knowledge. So there are certain centers in the United States, Silicon Valley obviously, my home city of Boston, Austin, Texas, I know this is growing in Los Angeles, and in fact the connection between these old established institutions like, like colleges and universities, but it's the young people with fresh thinking that help build it. And New York City is trying to do this also. Um, and New York is a source of marketing talent. It also has the money. And so you need resources as well as talent to build innovation. There are companies that are tremendously innovative. It comes and goes though, because you can be so successful that you start shutting down innovation and just repeating what you've always done. We think of Google as tremendously innovative, um, self-driving cars, all kinds of new propositions coming out of Google, permission for people to explore projects on their own, but Google is now seen as a big establishment by some, some people. So it comes and goes. I think it's the environment in the whole ecosystem that produces innovation.